chain, faster speeds, pizza, movies. Pizza? Movies? Did I just have a dream about pizza? Movies? And Intel Optane? How do they go together? I get it, the time I save if I'm using Intel Optane versus not using Intel Optane could allow me then to go to the movies and eat pizza. Well, we're gonna put this to the test and see if it's true. Right here we've got Intel's Optane drives and these are now going into laptops Australia-wide. They are really cost-effective and Intel claims and they actually make some bold claims that they can speed things up to 2.6 times faster when it comes to accessing media files. They're also stating that Optane makes your everyday tasks up to 2.1 times more responsive, as well as when it comes to games, levels loading 4.1 times faster, and then the games themselves launching up to two times faster. And here today, we've got Optane. We've also got a laptop with a drive with it installed, a 16 gigabyte module. So we'll be turning that on and off checking the before and after speeds. But one thing when it comes to Optane, I've tested this in the past, we've got a 72 RPM drive here. This is a hard drive, goes into the usual desktop systems. This is faster than the drive beside it. This is a 2.5 inch laptop drive that spins at 5400 RPM. This is what generally goes into laptops when you want more storage. The advantage of them is that they're smaller and hence lighter and more portable, but the disadvantage is that they're actually a lot slower than your 7200 RPM hard drives that go into desktop machines. So if anything, this little Optane module here will make more of a difference when it comes to putting it in a laptop than it did to putting it in a desktop PC, which I tested and I'll put the link up here. Now responsiveness, this is a very interesting thing, one that I've been investigating lately with a 1000 FPS camera so I can get some very accurate results. So this is the first benchmark we're gonna pull up for you guys. And we saw here when we're loading up a large video file, I got up to eight times faster speeds. Well, actually over eight times, because when I didn't have Optane installed, the 1000 FPS camera's time limit actually ran out with Optane off versus on. And we scored 642 milliseconds opening up this large video file. And then with it off, we scored over 5,400 milliseconds or 5.4 seconds. So if anything, these claims by Intel are actually even better in the real world. But looking at a music file, a small music file, three megabytes, this here loaded up virtually the same. So from those two tests alone, we can already see a trend that's starting to develop. And that's when the bigger the file, the more time you're going to save with Optane versus not having it installed. Though moving over now to Adobe Premiere Pro, this is a 4K video editing program. When we loaded this up for the first time with Optane off, we scored 137 seconds. With it on, 56 seconds. So we're up to 2.4 times faster on the initial load. When we loaded it up for the third time, we scored 44 seconds with no Optane versus 15 seconds with Optane installed. This is a 2.9 times difference. So the more you use your computer, the more this little Optane drive is gonna be working hard to save you time. Though loading up some video games and within that video game, a map and also a load screen, we saw with Dota 2, the first time we booted this up, 1.7 times faster with Optane on. The third time we booted it up, it was 12 seconds versus 32 seconds. This was up to 2.6 times faster. When it came to the map load, however, this loaded up 27 seconds versus 22 seconds. So it was only 1.2 times faster. Though when it came to the actual load screen before the map, we saw 10 seconds versus five seconds on the first load, which is the most important because you're gonna load up into that game and then play it for a few hours, switch the machine off, and then probably do the same the next day if you're a gamer. So two times faster for the load screen, 1.2 times faster for the actual map itself. So it does make a difference when it comes to games. Though one thing I will point out when it came to navigating menus and also just clicking things within Dota 2 itself, it was a lot more responsive and there wasn't less clutter and things sort of lagging with the uh, Optane on versus off. So you can definitely notice that in real world applications, even for small things. But moving on to boot times, when we booted up the PC, we got a minute and 43 seconds versus 21 seconds. This is on the first boot on both goes. 4.9 times faster with Optane on. So as we saw with the intro, we thought it was gonna make more of a difference when it came to a laptop with a slower drive, and Optane is indeed making a bigger difference 
than it does to its desktop counterpart. The last test we're gonna throw up here is some numbers for you guys. Crystal Disk Mark, we saw the read and write speeds, uh, especially the read speeds were substantially faster with Optane switched on. 932 megabytes, so 7.4 times faster, and when we had it off, it was only 125 megabytes. Not to mention some of the random read and write speeds were a lot faster as well. And this is where you're gonna notice a difference with your overall responsiveness of your system in everyday tasks. So now it's crunch time. And as we saw with modules like the Optane, they really speed things up. They speed things up to the point where in 2018, they're also so cost effective that you wouldn't wanna live without one. So you've either gotta get one of these or an SSD in your laptop and it will make a considerable difference and save you that time so you can then go out and get a pizza and movies because you won't have to sit in front of a screen and just wait for horrid load times that would otherwise over time definitely cost you a movie and pizzas. But all jokes aside, laptops like these are being rolled out with Optane pre-installed all across Australia. This Dell Inspiron 15 inch with a Core i5 already has it installed from the get-go. So if you are in the market for a laptop, then I do seriously recommend getting something with either an SSD or an Intel Optane module pre-installed. This will definitely save you a lot of time and just make your life a lot easier in general. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below, do you like pizza and movies or do you like 5400 RPM drives? Love reading your comments and your thoughts and opinions, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out for now. Bye.